guys, I'm Karishma Karer and welcome to the Owl Markers. Uh, I have with me two gentlemen who need no introduction whatsoever, Maximilian Buser and Fabrizio. And uh, obviously we're here to talk about the new collaboration, uh, the uh, Allegra. So before we dive into the watch, uh, how's the buy watch been for you? Uh, no idea. <laughs> we have been blocked, Fabrizio and me, in interviews in that little room for the last three days. Oh, okay. And um, I'm joking, but honestly, um, it's the greatest show for watch lovers on earth today. Mm -hmm. There is absolutely no doubt. I'm just a little bit sad because everything which is happening out there between the panels and the creative hubs and all the people we meet. And uh, I mean, this collaboration was born in Dubai Watch Week. H. Moser and MBNF collaboration was born in Dubai Watch Week. Mm -hmm. This is where things happen, creation happens, and uh, I would like to be a, bit, a little bit more out there. Out there, yeah. Okay, what about you, Fabrizio? How is the show? I know you've been on a couple of panels as well. Yes, um, I'm, I honestly have the same opinion. It's the best uh, watch show. Um, not because you can see new products, but because you have a lot of connections with the watch collectors, friends, uh, and watch lovers. Right. Uh, it's absolutely amazing. You cannot have this kind of uh, mood in other watch brands around, in other watch fair around the world. Interesting. I have a lot of questions about this watch. Uh, MBNF and Bulgari, radically different brands. Did you expect that? Not at all. Okay. I would have never <laughs> expected that. In fact, uh, when I heard about this, uh, obviously the first um, watch that came to my mind was uh, the Flying Tea and uh, you've already done uh, a jewelry machine with Bushra I remember yeah. back in the day I think that yeah, was the yeah the, the owl exactly. uh, I remember it very clearly uh, so this is an interesting collaboration and uh, how did it come about we know it was conceived at uh, Dubai Watch Week so it was conceived in Dubai Watch Week because I actually met uh, Fabrizio in Dubai Watch Week four years ago so to introduce myself and uh, to have a coffee. Uh, look, I'm a total fanboy I mean, of Bulgari generally and the work which Fabrizio has done in the last 10 years is mind-blowing and, uh, and I said look it would be cool if one day we could do something together. What I didn't know about him is that he uh, has been going on for the last three days as soon as he's got a piece of paper which he has virtually all the time he's yeah. sketching all the time. Yeah. So while we're talking He's like, yeah, 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 and he starts catching <laughs> MBNF watches a la Bulgari. <laughs> and, uh, and also, so we could do that, we could do this. And it was like a, a great moment in time. It's probably my best souvenir of that Dubai watch week. Mm -hmm. But it was just a fantasy. I mean, we were like, yeah, it was it. And then two years later, uh, we're at the same Dubai watch week. But this time, Antoine Pain has joined us. Antoine has just been nominated the uh, head of the watch division of uh, Bulgari. And we're having breakfast together. All three of us this time, and again, we're sketching and we can do this, and we cool there. And so he's looking at us, and uh, Antoine, can, can we do a collab? And he says, Yeah, let's do this. And I think both of us were like, Really? <laughs> and, uh, and that's how it started. Uh, and, and then, then, became a little bit more complicated because the world shut down. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> talk about that. Yeah, it was very, it was funny at the beginning because uh, it was four years ago and when I received this kind of uh, no, brief, it was not a brief, but it's an opportunity, it's even a challenge in terms of design point of view, I immediately start to have a lot of ideas and make it sketches. Mm -hmm. And it was the same four years later. And when we start to discuss with Antoine, uh, Antoine, we must do it, we must do it, we must do it. And, uh, and after it was the lockdown, I start to, to study the, the, the website of MBNF with a lot of different movements. At the beginning was my uh, big, uh, big uh, thought was how can I add something to the MBNF uh, products? Because they are very well known for this kind of, uh, this kind of uh, watches. Uh, at the beginning was a bit difficult. In a certain moment, uh, I've seen the picture of the flying tea with this three-dimensional movement with the dome and immediately start to imagine the ladies' watches. I didn't receive any information from Max, neither, neither from, uh, from Antoine, uh, neither from Jean-Christophe. It was a, a white paper and they gave me the opportunity to play with all this amazing movement. In a certain moment, it was naturally to choose the flying tea. It made sense for Bulgari make sense for Max and the idea was to play with our uh, gemstones uh, mm -hmm. around uh, around the moment. 
So there were no no restrictions or no, no guidelines that came from Bulgari or from uh, MNF. That those things design. are the best collapse. Right. Is that yeah. when everybody involved is just interested in creating a great product mm -hmm. and it's not done by the marketing team. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Meaning That's here true. we've got two creators. Yeah. Got together. It's actually it starts off as a as a story of both of us and then it becomes Bulgarian and BLF. Right. And, uh, and kudos to Jean-Christophe Baba and Antoine who let Fabrizio do whatever he wants and I was just happy. Yeah. I was just happy and so then this is a crazy moment when there's lockdown and we have a Zoom now and there's a whole team of Bulgari on one side <laughs> and a little team of MBNF on the other and we're talking so what can we do guys? And while we're talking, I can see him on the side of the screen scribbling, scribbling as usual. <laughs> and, and at some point, we, he says, Max, takes up the paper and he says, why don't we do this? And it's virtually this. Yeah. And we still have the original uh, drawing. Okay. And, uh, and I look at it and I'm like, cool, <laughs> done. I, I would love to give you more drama. <laughs> I would love to give you more crunchy bits. But I, it was, it was... It was crazy, and so everybody looked at each other. So, okay, that's it. So that was Allegra, it. Allegra, flying tea. Let's do this. So it was like love at first sight. It's it's a love yeah. chat. Yeah. This is a love chat. You you can recognize immediately when the idea is good. Right. All the things goes in the right direction, mm -hmm. and the idea was to, to combine together the Bulgari DNA and the BNF DNA. He loves the spaceships. He loves very very complicated things but made in a very simple way this is the most difficult things to do and the idea was to have the gemstones around the movement the vertical to be on with the diamonds on top so just start to talking about jewelry but the idea was to have a jewelry ufo a sort of smaller diorama around the movement and it's a great opportunity for us because we cannot use this kind of stones uh, other watches it's so thick uh, so the idea was to combine the stones like uh, like candy mm -hmm. we have a lot of images in a certain moment the image of the watch was very clear i removed the hands i just make a bit of a larger basin to have a bigger yeah. diamond yes. the, sorry the lugs, no lugs. i removed yeah, the lugs and uh, just a, a bigger basil and and that's it i make the sketch and i say max what do you think and uh, everybody say wow well, it's uh, gone perfect uh, uh, we, we are not obsessed to make difficult things just because it must be difficult. No, that's true, but it's it wasn't a very uh, it's not a very easy watch to work with considering the design, uh, the movement max. It's a vertical uh, construction. Vertical construction. Yeah, and which is like a like a ballerina in the center of the, the scene. Uh, what was also really interesting that we actually discovered going on later is how um, I call this the karma watch because there were so many things which actually brought us to where we are today. If you take the, the hands of our flying team, of our original flying team, you remember, do you know what the name of those hands are? Those are the serpentine hands Serpent. of the late 18th century. Yeah. What's the biggest icon of Bulgari? The serpentine. So, okay, we've got that. The, the, um, the rotor, which is that incredible sun, which is actually inspired for me from uh, actually the uh, Versailles, uh, Louis XIV sun mirrors, which uh, I always found absolutely beautiful. And, and I put it, why? Because it's a symbol of the women in my life. They're, they're my son. And, um, and at some point I said to, to uh, Fabrizio, do you want to change the rotor? And he looks at me and says, no, that's the Bulgari sun. I said, what do you mean? And there's a pendant, a Bulgari pendant, yes. which is exactly that sun, but in 2D, not in 3D. So maybe I was influenced by them, not realizing it's totally possible. <laughs> But, so there, there were already elements in this piece which were, which were in their world. This is the, exactly the essence of this collaboration. Fabrizio, do you want to change the rotor? No, I don't need it. It's beautiful, uh, reminds me of Bulgari Sun, and uh, it's okay. We are not fighting to have more, uh, no, more Bulgari than BNF on the watch, or more yeah. MBNF than Bulgari on the watch. That's why it's so very well balanced. It's absolutely an MBNF watch, but it's absolutely a Bulgari watch. Absolutely. At the end, uh, these two brands, uh, huge and big in different fields, absolutely. Yeah. Try in natural way to combine together their own DNA in a very, very, I think, unique way. 
it's not so easy, honestly, to have this kind of collaboration. And we made we made a lot, and uh, we know the history behind the collaboration. And this time was very. It's like a match. We, what we're gonna do? Something. We send the messages, WhatsApp, uh, pictures. Uh, and that's it.